Grenada imposes immediate travel ban on travelers from India and Brazil with 14-day travel history. We'll have details to this story and more in the National Report. With the details to the news for Tuesday, May 4th, 2021, I am Rakesha St. Louis. Grenada has imposed an immediate travel ban on people with a 14-day travel history from India and Brazil. That announcement on Tuesday by Honorable Nicholas Steele, Minister for Health and Social Security. India has reported more than 20 million cases, the second highest case toll in the world. Brazil's National Civil Registry reports that over 200,000 COVID-related deaths were recorded so far for 2021. On the advice of, of the COVID committee and the chief medical officer, cabinet has decided that there will be effective immediately a travel ban for persons with a 14-day travel history from India and Brazil means that no one with a 14-day travel history from India or Brazil will be allowed to enter Grenada. Persons will have to spend the relevant time in a third-party state that will allow them to enter. Um, that takes effect with immediate uh, as of today. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sean Charles says government is concerned about the high level of defiance from some frontline workers against vaccination and testing when there is the possibility of exposure to COVID-19. On Tuesday during the government's weekly post-cabinet media brief, Dr. Charles said Grenadians cannot live in isolation and ignore what is happening globally and in neighboring islands with regards to COVID-19. He said the complacency and defiance of some frontline workers, including healthcare workers, is compounding the situation because the public can use their refusal as a sign that the vaccine is not effective. The Ministry of Health continues to advocate for the COVID-19 vaccine as the country continues to fight to ensure that the number of positive cases remain low. Vaccination drives are being held island-wide weekly as part of the ministry's strategy to educate and get as much buy-in on the process, but the CMO says the defiance by some is making it difficult for them. Dr. Charles stressed that we have the perfect formula for a massive outbreak if we become too complacent. The defiance that you're seeing out there, and I think I mentioned defiance many, many times, you see, it starts, it starts one place and it spills over into the other. All right, so we are seeing persons who are defiant and resistant to being vaccinated. And we are also now seeing persons that are defiant and they're resistant to being tested after a potential exposure to COVID. So right now, right now what we have is the perfect formula, the perfect formula for a massive outbreak in Grenada. And if the public does not understand that right now, if anyone does not understand that right now, we have the formula right now. We have the conditions right now for there to be an outbreak. We have low immunity, high hesitancy to the vaccination, um, limited um, number of persons um, getting vaccinated. Persons are resistant, they're combative, they're fighting, they're, they're doing everything in their power. And in addition, walk through St. George's with your camera one day. Physically count how many persons are wearing a mask. All right? If the public does not understand that we have all of the conditions right now for there to be a, a massive outbreak in Grenada, if you do not understand this now, all right, I'm seeing it. All right? We have the conditions, all of the conditions for there to be an outbreak of COVID if we do not, um, you know, alter our course. Assistant to the CMO, Dr. Mayana Charles, highlighted the effectiveness of the vaccine in taking Grenada one step closer to eradicating the dreaded virus. She urged the Grenadians to let the decision to receive the vaccine be driven by facts and the global success rates. 
vaccination is one of the greatest success stories in public health. Vaccination is one of the most effective way to protect persons from infectious diseases. And we have known this for centuries. And with the COVID-19, it is no different. Vaccination works the same way. And my greatest concern, the mistrust, the hesitancy starts with one vaccine. It can start with a COVID-19 vaccine. And then soon, you hear people saying, well, I'm not vaccinating my children against measles. And not vaccinating them against mumps or rubella. And then we see a re-emergence of those diseases. Right? So I want to urge everyone to get vaccinated. Right? Vaccinations are available in Grenada. And we have to be thankful. Because there are still countries that, f that are having difficulties getting access to vaccines. And we have vaccines here. This is the National Report. The news will continue after the break. Welcome back. Following its 2020 strategic planning exercise, the University of the West Indies has invited the distinguished the Prime Minister of Grenada, Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell, to lead a team of technical experts to review the academic and administrative operations of the University Center. Integral to this review effort is maintaining the UE as one regional enterprise with five campuses while demonstrating its efficiency. Prime Minister Mitchell, who also holds the portfolios of national security, public administration, youth development, home affairs, ICT and disaster management, is a celebrated UE graduate and former professor of mathematics. He has considerable knowledge and understanding of the university and will bring his known expertise to bear upon the scope of work identified for this much-needed review of the university's central administration. Dr. Mitchell said, and I quote, It is an honor for me to accept this invitation to chair this special committee. I view our mandate as one which is critical to improving the operational efficiency of this premier regional institution. Although the COVID-19 pandemic has placed increasing pressure on regional leaders, including myself, I embrace the opportunity to contribute to the future success of this noble institution, of which I am also a proud graduate, unquote. The recommendation of Prime Minister Mitchell to chair the special committee of the University Grants Committee was made by Vice Chancellor Professor Sir Hilary Beckles to the Chairman of the Committee, Finance Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, the Honorable Colm Imbert, who also gave his endorsement. The University Centre, commonly known as the Vice Chancellery, was established 25 years ago under the Chancellorship of Sir Sidrat Ramphal and Vice Chancellor Sir Alistair McIntyre. Finally, in the news, the Grenada National Training Agency, NTA, has redesigned its website as part of overall efforts to improve its public relations and web presence. The redesigning process was driven by a desire to have a structured, user-friendly website that supplies training providers, consumers, regional agencies, and other stakeholders with up-to-date and relevant information about the agency and its activities. The contract was awarded to web designer Glenroy Boson. The new website is hosted on the domain name GrenadaNTA.gd um, and you can definitely feel free to go over there to that domain name and take a look at the new website. Um, the website is built on the popular, the popular web development platform called WordPress. WordPress is one of the um, very popular platforms that websites are usually built on. Um, the website is built in a, in, in a way such that it's fast it's extremely user-friendly, as well as it's modern. 
So individuals who are, whether you are a training provider or a student or a stakeholder or a partner of the GNTA, you will be able to go on the website, on the homepage of the website and find exactly what you are looking for. Um, you can easily download forms, you can um, fill out download certifications, annual reports, guides, um, you can fill out different forms and different applications on the website. So whereas in the past you would have to uh, manually submit, manually print out forms and bring them into the office, um, you, you can now do all of that from the comfort of your home on your personal computer. Boson is confident that the content will meet the needs of the agency and the general public. I believe right now we have a website that definitely serves the GNTA and complements the, the GNTA goals and objectives, as well as serves the local Grenadian population as well. Chief Executive Officer of the NTA, Lincoln Morgan, believes the redesigned website will better serve the needs of the agency. The website is really important to us as, as an organization. It's a tool that we use to uh, maintain contact with our stakeholders. Um, for me, the website is as important as our physical operations that we have here. In fact, you might find more people interact with us through the website than who actually visit our offices. And so it's really important that we have a well-functioning uh, website. And so I'd like to thank Kay for her efforts in terms of ensuring that the content of the site is what it should be. Mr. Williams for overseeing the whole process. Uh, Mr. Boswin for um, his, uh, all the technical and other work that went into this, and for the media for being here today with us um, as we launched this website. We really hope that we can keep the, the information on the site as current as possible so that the site is educational, is informative, and it's useful both to us and our stakeholders. That story just ended the national report for today, Tuesday, May 4th. Let's recap the top story. Grenada imposes immediate travel ban on travelers from India and Brazil with 14-day travel history. On behalf of the entire news and production team, I am Rakesha St. Louis saying thank you for joining us. Until next time.